As the Royal train drew into the junction station, the Mayor of Swindon was with the Lord Lieutenant of Wiltshire, who welcomed Princess Elizabeth as she stepped from the train. In turn, the Duke of Somerset presented the Mayor, the Town Clerk, the Chief Constable of Wiltshire and other notabilities. Then, escorted by Alderman Bond, Princess Elizabeth began her tour. Ex-servicemen and women were at the Garden of Remembrance, which the Princess was to open. In the service of their country, the people of Swindon can be proud of their record. For those who did not come back, the Garden is a beautiful memorial. May those who fell know that peace which the world cannot give, said the princess in her tribute. Girl guides and other local youth organizations greatly interested the princess. When opening the modern playing field, she reminded her listeners that the Duke of Edinburgh is a keen worker in the drive to find new playing fields for the young. Swindon's plans she found very encouraging. The world-famous railway works were all fate to welcome the royal visitor. The princess was welcomed by Mr. Grand, chief regional officer who conducted her on her tour of the huge works. Princess Elizabeth was the first official royal visitor to the town since the King and Queen Mary paid unofficial visits early in the war. An unusual memento of her visit was planned for the princess, who had already graciously accepted the town's gifts for Prince Charles and Princess Anne, which boys and girls of the town had made. Now, as she watched, a casting was made of her name. At the test bed, the princess watched an engine under test. That was a sight which would have thrilled Prince Charles. It's interesting for most of us too to look round these works. Perhaps we don't realise what a vast amount of vital work is carried on here. In return, as a memento of her visit, Princess Elizabeth christened a new castle class locomotive. A small model of the giant was presented to her later. When Her Royal Highness climbed into the cab of the Princess Elizabeth, it was the climax of her visit. Under expert guidance, of course, the Princess drove the train to the junction. Someday, Swindon hopes, maybe Prince Charles will follow his mother's example. And so, as the train drew out, a memorable day in Swindon's history came to an end.